day. In another sense, his personality has changed and that he's become moody and violent and his addiction is tearing the family apart. That was <laughs> 16 years ago, the family back together again now. It's, uh, I've got the addiction under control. <laughs> electric shock therapy. <laughs> but I'd like to introduce you to a couple of friends of mine. This is uh, Skurv, he's of the undead. We call him Skurv because he's named after scurvy. That's kind of a gum bleeding disease. Skurv, he's not got any gums, so he's not really too worried about the bleeding. <laughs> he, uh, he has a couple of pastimes, old Skurv. He likes to wander around the outside world looking for dead bodies on which he, uh, he feeds. Uh, <laughs> and this is Hef. He's a combination between uh, Hugh Hefner, the playboy, and uh, a cow. <laughs> He's a particularly horny fellow with a very large mallet, and he likes to pound things with this mallet. Uh, it's about the only technology that Hef understands. <laughs> It's not all death and rage. Uh, Ed likes to dance, he enjoys the dance, uh, you know, out there in the meadow. He meets a couple of people. <laughs> oh, this, uh, this beautiful little dark elf is called Fred. <laughs> He's a one-handed keyboard. One-handed keyboard is from Omaha. Uh, he's got some moves, really nice moves. But we do have to, you know, work hard at, uh, at this particular thing. I mean, I'm in a guild, it's led by an Indian, and uh, we train on a regular basis. This is one of the sort of uh, post-raid pep talks that uh, Kumar likes to take us on. I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a feel for how things go and things go wrong. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.